Hey guys, this is Traveling Art and Kimmy, and um, for this video, I pretty much want to go into my plans right now as far as travel nursing goes and nursing in total because I'm at a very pivotal moment in my life. And um, as you know, I'm super excited if you can't tell, but I'm about to. I'm about to actually make like such a big change. You guys, if you watch my channel, um, you already know I have officially taken a staff position. Um, I, I really want to videotape my journey as I'm learning to be a different kind of nurse. Um, and by that, I mean, I'm an ER nurse right now and I, um, I officially start my new job in two weeks, guys. I will be working in the NICU with the babies. Um, I'm super excited because this is the change I've been asking for, praying for, begging for, complaining about. So finally get to leave the ER. And as you know, there's going to be so much change for me. I am currently a travel nurse. I just finished my very last contract guys this is just mind-blowing um i've been traveling for two years now i have finished my last travel nursing contract and the reason why i'm saying it like that is because i actually have a per diem job as a travel nurse so that's how I'm pretty much going to deal with the transition with the pay. I went from getting um, $3,000, $4,000 a week to getting $1,400 a week. And when I drop from the $1,400 a week, I'm going to go to getting paid every two weeks. As you know, um, staff, most most hospitals that I've worked at, the staff get paid every two weeks. So I'm going from getting paid every week to every two weeks. And that was such, it's such a tr large transition that I did not want to overwhelm, stress myself out about it. So I took it upon myself to get a per diem job as a travel nurse. So I will be continuing to work in the ER as a per diem travel nurse um, at a different hospital. And when I pretty much gain the experience that I want as a NICU nurse, then I might look for a NICU per diem travel nursing job. But until then, I'm going to continue to do my skills in the ER. And um, my plan is to work every, either every, every other week at my per diem travel nursing job, one shift. Because what I don't want to do and what I've loved that I have in, um, incorporated in my life this year is to not overwhelm myself, to not overwork myself. Money is in everything. I plan, I budget, I spend. Um, the way I spend my money, I feel like it's very responsible. So I one of the, the things that I've learned this year is to relax, enjoy the time that I have with the people I love the most. So I have not been working crazy like I normally do. And it just blows my mind that this year has been so, so different for me because of the fact that I've not been working like a crazy person. I haven't been working five, six days a week. I've been working three. It's sometimes sometimes too. <laughs> I've really taken advantage of the time that I've been given and, and and of my pay and how much I'm getting and everything. So <laughs> I'm rambling, sorry. But yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. I start my new NICU job in two weeks. I will be working night shift. My night shift position starts in December. Night shift starts in December for the for orientation until then I'll be working day shift. The first week of orientation, I am going to try my bestest. I'm going to try, guys, to really make a, a a video at least every week of my journey as a NICU nurse because this transition I know it's going to be very um difficult, but um it's going to be difficult but rewarding because this is what I want to do. I'm super excited about it. This is what I've been begging for. So we are going to record and document 
and pay attention and learn as I change from an ER nurse to a NICU nurse. And my plan is, like I said, I'm keeping the per diem travel nursing job because I don't want to drastically drop my pay cut. And it's not that I can't pay my bills because my bills actually, the because of the travel nursing and everything, my bills have come down to 2,700 a month. That's how much my bills come up to. So the truth is if I can pay that, whatever extra I get from my job, is extra. It's just that. So my plan is my per diem travel nursing job, what I'm going to do with that money, I want to take that money and I want to put it on my car note because my goal was to pay off my new car um, by the end of next year. And that is still my goal. So like I said, the travel nursing job that I have now per diem, I work I'm supposed to work three shifts every six weeks, but what I'm going to do is every every other week or every week, depending on how I'm feeling, because I might feel adventurous one day, um, I will be either doing 12 or eight hour shifts every other week. Um, and whatever money I make from that, I'm going to put it directly to my car note. I don't even think about it. So that job is specifically for two things. My 401k, and my car note. So I do put a percentage of my 401k um, from that job and it's gonna, I have not changed it right now. The company matches me 5%. So that's what I put that I put in 5% and they match it 5%. And then whatever is left over that goes to my car note. And that is how I plan to pay off my car. So my plan is this. From now until whatever, from now until I get off orientation, because I cannot be working overtime as a new nurse in this department, because I'm still training, obviously. So from now until I get off orientation, I will be picking up extra shift as my travel nursing per diem job. I get $63 for that per hour for that job. My staff job, I get $42 an hour and I will be working 36 hours a week. I cannot work more than 40 hours as a new nurse in the NICU. Um, so the most I will ever be working during orientation is 40. Once I get off orientation, my plan is to pick up an extra shift every single time. So one week, I'm gonna be working four days at in the NICU and the other week I will pick up one extra shift like I said at my travel nursing per diem job. And that is how I am going to pretty much transition into this. Um, that extra money from my travel nursing per diem job gives me that little oomph um, so that I don't feel like, oh my God, what a pay cut, you know? Um, the best thing is that I don't waste money. Like I said, I budget. I'm so serious about budgeting. Guys, can't do without it, <laughs> honestly. So I don't, I don't feel overwhelmed with the idea of going from a travel nurse to a staff nurse. And I told you the only reason why I would do that is if I was changing department and here we are changing department. So after this, um, after this, my plan is um, maybe I might go back to school. And if I take, because I'm wondering, should I take advantage of the fact that I only have my associate's degree, as you guys know, should I go into, go, should I, should I get the experience as a, new, as a NICU nurse and then go back into travel nursing? Or should I take advantage of this? right? Staff nursing. Take advantage. A lot of hospitals pay you to go back to school. So I'm, and I only have my associate's degree. So I'm like, maybe I should get my bachelor's degree while I'm, I'm a staff nurse. Get my bachelor's degree and maybe I should get my master's degree because I think if I did get my master's degree, it would definitely be as a neonatal nurse practitioner. So I'm like, maybe I should take advantage of this time that I've been given, this opportunity in this hospital and just, you know, go shoot shoot for the very top of my dreams, which is to be, get my master's and get, um, become a nurse practitioner. Um, so right now, I already got my schedule for this new job. It's going to start, like I said, in two weeks. I will be making a video of day one 
and make a video of the whole week, honestly, because I want to take you guys on this journey. When I started travel nursing, I didn't do that many videos and I wish I did. And I wish I did videos when I was in nursing school, just so you guys can see the process. Um, but if you are if you are a nurse and you want to switch the department, I would say go ahead and do it. I'm terrified and excited at the same time, obviously, but you know, the worst thing you can do is doing a job that you hate. And I don't hate the ER, but I don't love it. And I want to love my job. I don't want my job to be so so stressful that I'm like, oh, I want to call off. I don't want to ever think that. And I've thought that a million and 10 times in the ER because the ER in itself, honestly, they don't pay you enough to work there, especially at these trauma centers. So I will be making videos and I promise, promise, promise I am going to record this journey because I... I wanna. I wish I had that resource, and I want to give you guys that resource. So, orientation. I'm gonna set you guys. Pretty much bring you guys with me. Let you guys see what I had to go through. How long these orientation days were. I'm not gonna try to do like a 30 minute video, but I'm gonna try to condense it, speed it up, whatever I can do. Um, but that's the plan. So orientation week. I work Monday through. Friday, I believe. I think I'm going to do 40 hours for that week. I'm going to be recording these videos. I promise. I'm going to be showing you guys my paycheck. I'm going to be showing you guys what like benefits that I'm signing up for. Um, and, um, and pretty much like my, the different, the, the new supplies that I had to purchase because I'm switching department, what new exams I have to take, like what's the difference between ER nursing, which is a lot of adult nursing, um, and NICU, which is neonatal. So I am super excited to take you guys on this journey with me. If you guys have any questions, any suggestions of what other videos I can do, please leave those comments down below and I will try my best just to put it on my list of videos that I want to do. But I'm super excited about this, guys. Like, we're about to do something different. It's been a minute, but I'm ready for the change. So I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day and see you later.